The last learning objective is to describe how over-the-counter products should be used in the treatment and prevention of urinary tract infections. Now, so we have uh, this cranberry juice or tablet over-the-counter. Uh, so you, you will see the brand name Azo Cranberry uh, in most uh, pharmacies. Uh, and the theory behind it is that it, uh, it, can, it may inhibit adherence of uropathogens to urinary tract surfaces. So this is this is this is a prevention rather than treatment. So if you can prevent uh, the adherence of uropathogen, then perhaps maybe you could prevent uh, UTIs. Uh, there's limited clinical data for this. Uh, in fact, in 2013, JAMA Clinical Evidence uh, Synopsis. Uh, looked at this. So JAMA published an article on cranberry products and prevention of urinary tract infection. So the question they asked was, are cranberry products such as juice, tablets, capsules, and syrup associated with prevention of urinary tract infections compared with placebo or other treatments? Uh, and they reviewed a lot of different studies and the conclusion that they came up with was that cranberry products are not associated with prevention of UTIs. However, they acknowledged that lack of association of cranberry products with a reduced incidence of UTIs in clinical trials may be due to lack of participant adherence, lack of sufficient active ingredient in the cranberry products, or lack of sufficient statistical power. So, you know, that means uh, a lot of these studies didn't have enough patients in them. If they did have enough patients, maybe the patients were an adherent. And also because, you know, this is an over-the-counter product, they're not regulated as much. So different, different uh, brands, for example, can have different uh, cranberry content. So it's not equivalent. So if you're doing studies across different places, uh, you know, uh, or actually if you're comparing studies, then depending on what product they use, they may be given a different content of cranberry. So cranberry, do they really work? Uh, there is uh, there's, there's, there's newer data that was published in, to, uh, in, in JAMA, uh, and it, they actually looked at the effect of cranberry capsules on bacteria urea plus pyuria among older women in nursing homes. And they wanted to test the effect of two oral cranberry capsules once a day on presence of bacteriuria plus pyuria uh, among women residing in nursing homes. I, p I posted this article and I let you read this article and decide for yourself uh, what they found. Uh, we have another Azo product over the counter, uh, which is actually uh, phenazopyridine. So be very careful when, when you hear the word azo, you have to be careful, are they talking about cranberry or are they referring to phenazopyridine? And some of them are actually uh, a combination of cranberry and phenazopyridine. So it's actually a urinary analgesic for symptomatic relief of pain, burning, urgency, and frequency. So remember, these are the symptoms of urinary tract infection. So a lot of patients who get these symptoms, instead of going to the doctor, they will come to the pharmacy to try to get the azo. And often time, they will come to the pharmacist to ask for recommendation to see which azo product to take. And that's the opportunity for the pharmacist to realize that this patient has a UTI you can send them to, you know, if you think it's cystitis, you can recommend the patients to go to their primary care physician. Or if you realize that the patient has fever or flank pain, uh, you know, it's a more severe infection like pyelonephritis, and you can recommend them to go to an urgent care clinic. Now, this product doesn't have antibiotic activity. Uh, it's just an analgesic, so the dose you sh uh, it's recommended to take two tablets uh, by mouth three times a day after meals, up to two days. So they say up to two days because if you told the patient to go to their primary care physician and they received, uh, let's say, uh, nitrofurantoin, these symptoms will be gone like within the first day once you take nitrofurantoin. So you, you know, if you really have these symptoms by day beyond day two and they're still taking azo, you know, that's that's a more uh, that's a that's a con that's that's concerning. So uh, they should stop at day two, so that if there are these symptoms present, you would know about it, so you can send them back to the doctor or an uh, urgent care clinic. 
Now, this can cause headache, dizziness, or stomach cramps. Uh, and it does contain a dye that turns the urine a reddish orange color. So it's important to counsel the patient about this because if they do see, you know, imagine if they're having, burn, you know, these uh, symptoms of pain, burning, and if they're taking this and their urine is suddenly red, they may think that there's, there's, you know, there's a more um, severe underlying cause to it. They may think it's blood. Okay, I'm here at my local CVS. Let's see where the pharmacy is. Okay, let's see. Here are the ASO products. There's one for urinary tract infection test. There's one for urinary tract, uh, urinary pain relief. Uh, there is, so the urinary pain relief has phenazopyridine in it. That concludes this presentation.